welcome back in the previous step we implemented a before aspect in this step we'll look at something called a after aspect one of the things i would want to do is rename this it should be user access aspect let's go ahead and do that quickly please go ahead and do that i'm sure nothing would have broken now what i would want to do is take this and copy it and i would want uh, after i'll call this after aop aspect now let's start with removing the comments which are present in here just to make everything clear so instead of add before if you would want to do something after the value is returned then we can use something called after returning so import after returning and i would want to intercept the business calls only so i'll not worry about the data so i'll say i'll want to intercept the business calls and i would want uh, also after returning actually i can get the return value also so I, what i would do is this is the default argument so now it's no longer the default because i would need to pass in one one more parameter to the annotation so i would need to configure it with one more argument so what we'll do is we'll set value is equal to this and i'll type in a comma in here and over here i can actually type in returning is equal to you can put the name of the argument so where the result value will come into so i would say string result actually it would be object result because we don't know the type so returning is equal to result what would happen is the value which is returned will be mapped to this and what we'll do is change this so this is no longer allowed execution this is after so let's change the method the method name is not really important you can call it anything but if i would want to keep it consistent so we can say this join point oops this join point oops again this join point returned with value this and the second argument i would want to pass in is the result so what we are doing here is very simple right so we are doing after returning so let's change it to after returning oops after returning and we are saying value is equal to the point cut which needs to be used to intercept and i would want to take the result and put it into this argument named result so this is the name of the argument in here now i'm doing a logger dot info to print the result let's see what would happen oops let's run this from here you can see that this is being printed so calculate something returned with value dow1 so we are intercepting the call after it has completed so after execution it is returning with the value dow1 after execution here the business is returning with a value dow2 so we are printing after returning so the thing is after returning will get executed only when the execution gets completed successfully so if you want to intercept an exception then you can use another one called after throwing this would intercept any exceptions that are thrown so what i can do is actually after throwing if you go in there you would see that there is a point cut and there is a throwing so i can get the result of the exception and say it in here so throwing is equal to exception and i can argue, add an argument exception and this is after throwing the last kind of after in interception is the common one so whether it's throwing an exception or returning a value you can use the after annotation to intercept that so i can say at after import that in and this is after and join point there would not be any exception for this because you don't know whether there is a return value or the exception so you don't you cannot get that in here so this is completed or you can call it after execution of join point so if you run it you would see that this also gets executed one of the important things that we discussed in this video are what are the things you can do with an after aspect so we used after returning after throwing after annotations to define different methods for doing something after a method is called 
the after returning is called when a method executes successfully after throwing is called when a method throws an exception after is called in both the scenarios whether it's throwing an exception or returning a value in both the scenarios the after annotation i mean the method which is annotated with at after annotation will be called until the next step bye bye